This video will show you how to do a two-sample test of proportions in R. Just like always for these tutorials, I'm going to be working with a uh, copy of the 2016 General Social Survey, so I'm going to just load that. So for the two-sample test of proportion, the basic idea is that you have two groups um, and you're trying to make an assessment of whether or not the proportion answering in the affirmative for one group is something that is different or similar, statistically speaking, from the second group. The variables that we're going to be working with just to show you an implementation of this test are the variables grass and sex in the GSS. So we'll start with grass and just check how it looks using the table command. And so grass is whether the respondent believes that marijuana should be legal or not legal in the United States. So it's just a simple dichotomy. It's either legal or it's not, or it's missing. And then for sex, we'll just do the same thing. Table, GSS, dollar sign, sex. And take a look, and that's male and female. So the first thing that we're going to need to do to, to run this test is to do a cross tabulation between grass and sex. And the convention in R for running bivariate tables, so two variables, is you would want to set it up like this, table y comma x. And so you need to make sure that you have your dependent variable and independent variable straight. In this case, our dependent variable is going to be grass, so gss dollar sign grass, and then gss dollar sign sex is independent because we're assuming here that one sex influences their support for marijuana legalization. So once you have that into uh, the, the table command, just like this, then you would run it and then R will produce our uh, bivariate frequency distribution for us. And so you can see that, for example, there were 548 men who supported legalization and 578 women who supported it. So what we're going to do then is test whether that difference is a statistically significant difference. And to do that, we'll just use the prop test command, which is just the same as we did for the one sample test of proportions, except now we'll just uh, modify it just a little bit to allow us um, to, to do it for the two sample version of this test. And so just like for the one sample version, we're going to type x and x is the frequency of people that are coded in the affirmative or coded as yes or as one or whatever it is that you've, um, your data looks like. And so here we have 548 men who support legalization, 578 women. And so what we're going to do is use c to combine 548 comma 578, right? So just the, um, the yeses or the legals for both men and women. The next thing that we need to do is put in the sample size for each group. So this isn't the total n, but it's the marginal uh, total for men and the total uh, marginal total for women. So in this case, we'll just use c again and then type 548 plus 284, which gives us the marginal for men. And then we will type in 578 plus 433 to get the marginal for women. And um, from there, the only other thing that we need to do is make a determination of what to do with the Yates correction for continuity. And as I mentioned in the one sample version of uh, the test of proportions, the default that I tend to use as long as you have um, a reasonably large sample size is to just set that correction to false. Um, but depending on how you're learning this material uh, in your course or on your own or whatever, um, you might have different preferences. So you can set it however um, you want as long as it makes sense given the problem. But for us, we're going to just do correct equals false because we don't want the test, uh, the, uh, the Yates correction turned on, and then we can just run the test. And so once we do that, you can see that we have our two sample test of proportion. Um, and then we've turned off the continuity correction by setting the correct to false. And if you look at this, you can see that we have a chi-squared value, x squared of 14.515 at one degree of freedom, and then we have a p-value of 0 0.0001391. And if you look at the sample proportions down here at the bottom, you can see that men are... Um, around 8% uh, more likely to support marijuana legalization relative to women who are less supportive. Um, the other thing that's worth mentioning is that our hypothesis is two-sided, meaning this is a two-tailed test, 
And then uh, the 95% confidence interval of the differences is what I have highlighted right now. So our 95% interval is between 0 0.04257, 7, uh, 6 after rounding and between 0 0.13131 after rounding. So uh, a, a noticeable difference uh, between men and women. Uh, depending on how you've learned this test, you might not want to have this uh, chi-square statistic. You might be expecting a z-score here, and fortunately that's easy enough to get. So uh, the easiest way I think to do this is to just create an object for the test. So I'm going to call this uh, grass test gets the result of um, the statistical test. I'm going to just move it down a line um, just so you can see it all on the screen a little bit easier and then just run this and create an object called grass test. Now, to get the, um, the z-scored version of this instead of the chi-square, we just need to take the square root of that chi-square statistic. And the easiest way to do that is just use the sqrt command for square root, and then grass test in here, dollar sign statistic. And that will just return you the, um, the X2 statistic. I'll just highlight that portion and run it for you. And you can see we get our 14.5147, just like we did up there with a little bit of rounding. And then if I do the square root of this, you can see that we have a Z score of around 3.81 after rounding. And so you can compare that value to your, your thresholds for statistical significance, like 1.96 plus or minus or or something like that. Or if you wanted to, you could also just compare your p-value to the alpha value um, that you're using for your particular application. Uh, that's really all that you need to do for these tests. The other thing that's worth mentioning here, um, I'll, I'll just copy and paste these lines and move them down. Um, if for whatever reason you wanted to have a one-tailed test, either on the uh, negative side of the curve or the positive side, you could set that up pretty straightforwardly just using the alternative optional argument, and uh, the default here is two-dot-sided for the two-tailed test. So if I run this again, you'll get exactly the same result. Um, however, if you wanted to put it um, one-sided so that the uh, proportion in group one was less than the proportion in group two, you could just type in less. And now if I run it, um, you can see after I uh, print the results for the test, just typing grass test, um, that the p-value is no longer um, smaller than alpha because we're looking on the wrong side of the curve, right? Even though the sample proportions have changed. Um, so because we know in this case, just from the descriptive statistics, that the difference is actually greater. So if we typed in greater, then our statistically significant result should come back. And um, I'll just print the test. And you can see that, yeah, now it's also statistically significant. Um, if we look at it from uh, a one, tailed uh, perspective. Usually though we just want to keep it to two-tailed because that's more conservative, um, but it, it will really depend on um, your approach and how you are conceptualizing the problem. Otherwise that's really all that you need to do to run these tests. Uh, hope that was helpful.